underlying these specific things are, are sort of two widespread uh, views about, about the craziness uh, afoot in, in America. Uh, the first has to do with the contemporary Republican Party. Uh, it's ideological extremism and, and a sort of sense to d deny reality, whether it's the efficacy of the, of the financial stabilization and stimulus, the utility of uh, the tax pledge, the non-existence of climate change, um, this occurring both among prominent leaders and members of the party in Congress and among all but one of their presidential aspirants, uh, that sends a signal, I think, across the globe that, that uh, sort of America's in trouble. It's fallen off track, that something is amiss, that uh, it's not just a sort of temporary episode of conservative populism, but uh, one of our major political parties is no longer maintains an adult status, one, one in which uh, uh, they can wrestle and are willing to wrestle responsibly over legitimate differences with the opposition and have something come from it. And finally, I think, coming out of all of this now, there is developing a perception of the weakness of our president in the face of all of these, uh, these difficulties. Uh, people see him in his futile search for a negotiating partner and politics to deliver on his promise of a, of a post-partisan uh, politics and, and government and see him sort of maneuvered into a misplaced <laughs> emphasis on deficits and debt at a time when the economy is floundering and and there's little sign of the growth and jobs that would actually, combined with serious action on deficits, allow us to uh, <coughs> regain our footing and, and sub, some traction.